Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Uh, update, I guess, October of 2024. Uh, no, the hurricane didn't come anywhere near me. It was on the other side of the coast of where I'm at. Uh, I'm hearing reports that the government in various capacities is uh, telling people if they bring relief supplies that they're going to be arrested. People in trucks, uh, I've heard they blocked off the entrances to the areas. Uh, I heard there was a police chief that told helicopter pilots if they ventured into his airspace, they'd be arrested. I mean, can you imagine that? They sure don't do that to the, uh, the illegal migrant, uh, Ill illegals down in uh, crossing the uh, Mexican border down there. They don't treat them like that. So, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're from the government. We're here to help the, uh, the devil, I guess. So, uh, the South is, I guess you could say more prone to being pro-Christian than up north, if you know what I mean. You know, like the Carolinas and Georgia and what have you. So there's little towns in those areas that have a church on every corner, it seems. Of course, they don't teach the right stuff, but what can I tell you? And I just had something interesting happen to me. Of course, I've had a couple people uh well devils uh write me and say oh i've got a uh, video of you uh playing with yourself watching porn i'm like you know but they'll keep it secret if i send them uh some you know a few thousand dollars on with through bitcoin or whatever whatever it is but it's funny uh you know every time i got a new computer i uh taped over the video camera because I've heard there was a story about a school that had given a bunch of high school girls and boys uh, computers to take home. And then they found out one of the teachers had activated the cameras and in the girl and the girl it was in the girls rooms and uh, he was watching them you know so uh, I guess you know maybe the girls were undressing or, or changing clothes or whatever so I don't know but ever since I heard that I said well if a school teacher can do that imagine what our wonderful federal boys can do so yeah so yeah, but I guess that's their newest uh, phishing scam. So if, if somebody is watching that stuff, whatever, you know, maybe they'll pay up. Uh, but do you ever notice the government goes after those that allegedly watch porn, especially kitty porn, but the government never goes after those that produce or peddle it those that make this filth they don't go after them no they just go after allegedly the customers but then again i believe almost nothing the government tells me anymore so well the government says it's raining outside i'm gonna look out the window but that's how i am but the really interesting thing that's been happening to me is uh, the last few days, my, t my phone has been sending me text of my location, my phone is sending my phone texts of my location on a map if that makes any sense 
of course it's it's not my phone doing it it's a spoofed number using my phone number to send my phone my location and they're using my phone to triangulate through cell towers my position believe it or not and it's yeah so somebody has to have the ability to track my phone now you got to realize all the telecoms are owned by the you know who's so this is either them or the feds or some maybe both i don't know but i mean to be able to track me using a cell phone it's pretty you know that's out of touch for the average citizen you know so i think what they're doing is they're sending me a message that we're watching you and trying to intimidate me and get me um maybe i don't know hoping i'll delete my channel or whatever i actually i'm surprised they haven't deleted my channel but the thing is um uh, they're seeing who's watching my video stuff that's that's got to be they're they're collecting names but you know think about it if uh, you were ever arrested and accused of being a christian would there be enough evidence to convict you i hope in my case there is um so you know just something to think about and there's coming a time when we will probably probably be called to give our lives for the testimony of christ and all these morons that believe in the pre-trib rapture because they trusted their 501c3 uh, tax-exempt business with the name church in it, and their wolves that they call pastors, you know, teaching dispensational truth and the pre-trib rapture lie. Well, you know, read the book of Acts. If you think you're even more special than they were to escape suffering, well, believe all you want. So, <laughs> and and anybody that's read the New Testament from, you know, from Matthew 1 to Revelation 22 knows who it is that killed Jesus, and it wasn't the Roman Catholic Church. And it wasn't Pilate. Because my Bible, my King James Bible says Pilate tried to release him. Yeah. And I could quote those things, but I don't want this video to get banned. Uh, read re John chapter 8 really well. Or John chapter 6. Or second chapter of the book of Revelation, verse 9. Or the third chapter of Revelation verse 9. You know, uh, it, it's just amazing. But I find it very disturbing that the government's blocking hurricane relief supplies. And it's just too well reported to not be true. It's just uh, too, many, too many people reporting it. So if you get your news from always but crap or nothing but crap or c as in your eyes cbs if you want to see bs turn on cbs i mean it's it's all the same you know who's and they lie about everything so I thought I'd do an update. Next Bible study I do is going to be on The Rock. And no, we're not talking about the uh, the guy that plays in the movies or was he a wrestler or something? I don't even know. 
you know, people ask me, oh, hey, Bob, you seen that, the, the, this newest movie or no, I didn't see it when it was in the theaters. I didn't see it when it came on TV. I didn't see it when it was on reruns or reruns or reruns because I don't waste my time watching movies and television. But occasionally I do watch stuff. But the only reason I do that is so I can see where they're, the enemy is hurting us. H-E-R-D-I-N-G. You know, hurting us like a herd of sheep. Of course, it could be hurting us as in pain and damage to us. Yeah, I guess it is hurting us. <laughs> hurting, hurting. Something like that. So, all right. So, I'm going to do a thing on the rock and uh, it should be fairly interesting you know sometimes I think I'm running out of topics on the Bible because I got over I have over a thousand videos I mean it's like pff, come on people you know and um, still working full-time you know by the way the the uh, Group of you in, from Niagara, New York, Niagara Falls, uh, I got your package. It'll be going out very, very soon. And I thank you for the words of encouragement and the blessing. I appreciate it very much. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that was uh, very interesting that my phone is... Sending me a text with my locations. Very interesting. And oh, by the way, people, um, they have a thing called EMF uh, sleeves, purses, I don't know what you call it, but it blocks uh, cell phone signals. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to start putting my cell phone in that thing and only take it out when I need it to use it. So, yeah. You know, they listen to us on the, through the phone, I'm sure. They spy on us. Uh, they track your location. You know, everybody thought I was weird at work because you don't have a smartphone. You don't take it with you. You don't answer the phone when we call. Yeah. I don't. No, I don't want one. I really don't. But what can I tell you? So, um, all righty. Take care. And uh, we'll be listening to The Rock next lesson, I'm God willing. All right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.